Today I'm going to be demoing workspaces and Grunt. Uh, both are really cool features and uh, pieces of software that we can we can take hold of as developers. Uh, workspaces is something new inside Google Chrome. Uh, it's been in Canary for a short while now, uh, but they finally moved it over to Chrome 28. Uh, and Grunt is a command line JavaScript task runner, which uh, is really really powerful. Uh, you may have heard of it before or haven't got into it or you, you may be using it now so forgive me if I'm, I'm teaching you how to suck eggs. Uh, so the main point of this demo is to show everyone that we we don't need sublime text, we don't need coder or whatever uh, other development tool you're using. Um, here's just all my tabs and stuff like this. Um, and a lot of people have been really interested in uh, a tweet that I put out uh, the the other day, which which basically said I was I was packing in Sublime Text for the day. I'm going to just carry on using Chrome DevTools. So uh, it it ended up with me saying I'll do a screencast. So here it is. So at the minute I've got my awesome web page works really nicely. I got some I got some SAS files. This is a .scss and a scripts.js. Just some IIFE here. Uh, so let's get Let's get Grunt running. Um, I've boot up the terminal. I've I've pre-configured Grunt, so uh, I will provide the the download link for this, so you can grab it afterwards and pretty much leave where I've left off. Uh, so uh, print working directory. So we are in users Todd motto, so you want to change directory to desk, uh, desktop. Uh, and I've called the folder DevTools. So now I'm inside DevTools. Uh, I am I'm not very great at the command line. Not going to lie. Um, but it's it's quite easy to pick up and it's really really worth it when you're when you're using Grunt. So all do, all we do now is just hit Grunt. Grunt's uh, all already pre-configured. Um, here we go. It's doing its thing. Workspaces and Grunt. Wee. So let's just get rid of this other tab. So my awesome web page. It's looking pretty good. So what does Grunt do? First off, uh, we've got terminal. Uh, it's a, it's basically a task runner. So I'm running all these tasks, which are, which start from the top down. So I'm running SAS, so I'm compiling any SAS files. I'm then running Uglify, which actually concatenates uh, JavaScript files for you. And then connect live reload, which connects to this lovely localhost 9000, as it says here as well. Open server, uh, you'll see I didn't even load Chrome or type in anything, so it does all that for you. And then it runs watch, so any changes you make to your files, it's just going to reload them for you, which I think is awesome. So, with that set up, we can press Command H, hide that beauty, and then go back to Sublime Text. And in Sublime Text, I can change, let's just add a, a new H2 tag, uh, close that off, and my awesome web page uh, using workspaces and grunt. So, I'm going to hit save now. You'll see the little thing here change. There we go, hit save. Let me go back here. And that's already changed for us. So I haven't even pressed refresh. Uh, Grunt's done the whole work for us. So you see running watch, waiting OK, blah, blah, blah. Uh, file, so it recognizes uh, files that you change. You, you specify these inside the Grunt configuration. Uh, this screencast isn't, isn't to demo Grunt or uh, show you how to configure Grunt, but I'll just provide the, the file that you can, you can use and do exactly what I'm doing now. So this, this we just leave to run in the background, we don't have to do anything. So Sublime Text, uh, I've decided, let's just close these so you, you can see I haven't hidden it. And Sublime Text up here, quit. I won't do the old Command Q because it looks like I've hidden it. Uh, command, and then Alt, and then I. That will bring up your DevTools. Uh, it's a little bit slower while I'm recording. Uh, probably my RAM, even though I've got loads of it. Right, so this is where things get interesting. So you, you've probably you've probably clicked on this this before when when developing. You've you've hit style.min and then I mean you can see this is minified, so there's no there's no chance of editing this. I find it's a really good tool to either well to basically concatenate all your files uh, from the get go into just one file. That way you're managing your scripts and stuff outside of your HTML. So we all know that you decide to add a plugin or add a new script and then you've got 10 JavaScript files. Whereas if you use Grunt, you just configure 
to just import all the JavaScript files. You can specify uh, the order in an array, and it's really, really flexible. So uh, just just one file for me, or for each, one, J one JS and one CSS, nice leader. So the next step is to uh, just see my minified JavaScript file as well there. So Uglify does all this stuff for you. Uh, and it's got a nice little copyright banner in there which, which dynamically gets added from Grunt as well. So, uh, if we go to Chrome and then Flags, this is an experimental feature, so you have to actually go here and enable it. Uh, there's, not, there's not many clear demonstrations on how to do this stuff, so uh, that's part of what this, this screencast does. Uh, don't know why that's load, live reloading there. So if I type developer tools, or developer, it'll take me down to here. Enable developer tools experiments. So what we want to do is hit enable. That's done for us. Your changes will take effect next time you relaunch Google Chrome. Relaunch now. Da -da -da, so we do that for me. And it's taking its time. There we go. So that's all done. Local host 9000. Awesome. Bring up developer tools again. Uh, and then we'll set up workspaces. So you, in here, you, you, you can actually edit the files in here, but these are actually, uh, these, these won't save to disk. So the whole point of workspaces is to save to disk. So we'll close those off and you'll, you'll see them in here. Yep, yep, yep. And then program, which is our HTML page, uh, which I don't think you can edit. No, you can't edit this. So what we want to do, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, just minimise my little screen recorder. Let's get in the way. So experiments here. So we've got loads of cool features here that we can we can then turn on. File system folders in sources panel. Now I don't know why they don't call it workspaces, but they should probably just say workspaces. Uh, and then what you want to do is click that, and I think you just close DevTools, and then bring up DevTools again. And it should hopefully be there. Yeah, hey. So there we go. We've got workspaces. So add a file system. So what I want to do is go to my that DevTools and then select. DevTools request full access to my desktop and DevTools allow. So I'm going to allow it to do that. Uh, I think we're done on all this one. This is a, a handy option to, to check as well. Disable the cache while DevTools is open. So when, you, when you're developing, always leave that uh, DevTools open and tick the little box. So let's go here. So you'll see that DevTools is now inside, uh, has now imported my project, which is super, super awesome. So I'm using the source file. The source folder is has my JavaScript and SAS files in. Now I've only got one of each. Uh, I'm not going to go crazy. Let's, uh, let's bring this out, I think. Yeah. Is that button? Yeah, so that keeps this permanently in the sidebar. And what I can do from here is actually edit my SAS files because Chrome is looking at them directly. So if I wanted to change this quickly to orange, I can hit that. And bear in mind that uh, terminal is running, Grunt is watching it. So when I hit save, you see the little asterisk, it'll actually recompile my SAS for me. And we've got an orange background. And I haven't even left developer tools here. Um, and this is this is really the future of development. I think I think if Chrome get it right, then we can we can definitely start to move into uh, a one one window development with a live browser in view. And it works perfectly for for JavaScript as well. So in here, uh, let me let me bring up my console. So you got this little beauty here. Uh, onload polling onload. This is just stuff that Grunt Grunt's adding into the live reload snippets here. So. So if I want to log something in the console, I can go, uh, hey, uh, uh, I need to escape that. Uh, uh, we're using uh, workspaces. Save. What that'll do is that go, Grunt will then recognize that, refresh the page for us, and hey, we're using workspaces. So everything that you do is completely live, but it's kind of not live at the same time. So if I want to set up an alert so you get more of a view, um, let's just go with boom because I like that word. And then that will that will nicely refresh. I spelled it a bit wrong, but 
Uh, okay, so, so that is how uh, to set up workspaces using Grunt. Everything is there that you need. Uh, Grunt is really, really flexible in terms of what you can what you can do with it. You just tell it to watch these files, and what it will do is it will compile them in the background, especially your, your scripts.js. So if I quickly go back to Elements and hit this again, it will bring it up in here, and you've got the minified version here. And then if I wanted to, let's do that, uh, document, Oop. get elements, great spelling, by tag name, and then we'll do h1, bar h1 equals console log, and we'll just log the h1. So what Grunt will do is it'll watch that and then return. There you go. So that's returned a node list, which in this instance is just one h1, being my awesome web page. And I click the wrong side there. There we go. So there it is. That's how to develop primarily inside uh, uh, DevTools. It's really really easy to get going. Um, I w uh, where's my index file as well? So. One thing to remember is I like to set up source as the, the source directory. So there isn't actually my HTML file in here. Grunt is actually looking at this dist folder. So technically under the scenes, we're looking at something like that. We're looking at dist. But what Grunt does is it maps it to just local host and it mounts the folder directly. So inside dist, we've got the, the minified files here. So we've got minified. And then we've actually got the index.html. So if I get rid of uh, console quickly. You can actually start to edit this. So, uh, hello world. What a nice day it is. Boom. And there we go. Hope that was a pretty good demo for you. Uh, and hopefully you can you can take stuff away. Uh, the grunt the grunt config uh, and setup with all all my files. So uh, you've got grunt here. You've got the package.json. The JSON basically tells it what uh, dev dependencies are available, uh, which, will, which will all be there as well. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.